Brought to you by CFU, the power of service. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. We're sitting with Dr. Megan Franklin as we kick off a new school year for you and I athletics. I am excited. I know you're excited. Your staff is excited. So the last time we sat down was actually on the day you were introduced as the new athletic director, the legacy era. You've been busy since May. What are some of the things that you and your staff have been working on in preparation of this new school year? Absolutely, it's been a really exciting summer and one in which we all know is productive in order to set us up for the championship seasons we want to have for our sport programs in the coming year. So one starts with staffing. So for me, I've been excited to hire a couple of new staff members in the senior leadership position. So an athletics chief financial officer and a, a chief revenue uh, generation officer, if you will. So that's been exciting to add to the senior team and provide support for staff and coaches across the department. Also, facility projects have been go on ongoing. You can see behind us that um, the turf is down in the dome and we're prepared for the season and that means one thing and that the roof is coming together. So exciting on a few different levels with facilities and then of course just getting to know staff and the culture in the department wanting to have some fun. So we had a picnic in June with all the families of athletic staff and coaches. Um, we had a tailgate for our slow pitch softball team. That sounds fun. Yep, and, <laughs> yep, it was fun. We don't get to tailgate very often as athletic staff, and so that gave us a chance to have a good time together, get to know each other a little bit more, and support our team um, on the slow pitch softball field. And then we had a great uh, flash mob at the Live to Nine last week, made up of student athletes from volleyball, wrestling, football, and soccer. So really fun. I think they had a great time planning for it and then executing it. So just wanting to bring in the fun as we prepare for the season with some exciting ticket packages and, and um, supporting our student athletes. Yeah, it seems like a concerted effort to get out into the community even more than what yes. was done in the past. That takes a little time, a little bit of effort. Why is that a point of emphasis with your administration here? Right, the town-gown relationship is one in which we know that in Cedar Falls, the University of Northern Iowa is integrated into who we are. It's our it's our neighbors. And so I had a really wonderful podcast with the mayor and with the chief administrator with the town talking about what opportunities we do have to celebrate in partnership and future ideas that we can have. So that has been important and have been um, in, one of the first things I wanted to do when I got here. So I uh, have enjoyed meeting a lot of people from the community and being in community, enjoyed the community band concert downtown this summer and just getting a chance to meet people uh, where they are. We'll talk about football, volleyball, soccer, and all the exciting fall sports, but just this energy of student athletes coming back to campus, it feels a little different mid-August than it did mid-July or, or mid-June, doesn't it? Absolutely, and you know, I've been able to get to the teams and meet with them, and that's one of the things I couldn't wait for, that when I got here, they were just leaving and graduating and finishing up the seasons and going home, and so now they're back, and that's been, it's just always great to have the student athletes in and through the hall ways and popping in my office I always make sure my doors open and I've told all of them stop by I'd love to see you and they have and I love that so and you're, you feel like you're getting the support from the upper administration and, and uh, the president as well absolutely and you know to to a person on that senior leadership team uh, work, working closely together to say you know who are we what do we want to do and let's go after it together because it takes a takes a team yeah. and takes a village as we say and it does and I've got the, the you know that leadership from the top, which makes all the difference. It makes a huge yes. difference. Well, we'll have more with Megan Franklin right after this here on Panther Sports Talk. The Strategic Play of the Week brought to you by Strategic Imaging, your one-stop shop for print marketing, signage, apparel, and promotional items.